September 30, Wednesday, Memorial of St. Jerome, Priest and Doctor A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke As Jesus and his disciples were proceeding on their journey, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus answered him, Foxes have dens, and birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head. And to another he said, Follow me. But he replied, Lord, let me go first and bury my father. But he answered him, Let the dead bury their dead. But you go and proclaim the kingdom of God. And another said, I will follow you, Lord, but first let me say farewell to my family at home. Jesus answered him, No one who sets a hand to the plow and looks to what was left behind is fit to the kingdom of God. The Gospel of the Lord I will follow you wherever you go. The word disciples is replete with meaning. The disciple must be disposed and available like Mary who made herself ready as the handmaid of the Lord. The disciple offers himself not partly but integrally, that is, his whole being, mind, will, and heart. His life must not be self-serving but must gird toward service for others. Discipleship is a lifetime commitment. No return, no exchange. The intentionally or purpose of his life is to do the mission of Jesus and not be distracted by other concerns like burying the dead. When the disciple follows Jesus, he must be ready to persevere, to finish what he started. No one who sets a hand to the plow and looks to what was left behind is fit for the kingdom of God. The disciple listens to the will of God in prayer, even as he listens to the signs of times where the Spirit of the Lord leads him. The disciple should be ready to endure the hardships and sacrifices that result from following Jesus on the way of the cross of everyday life. One of the best way to know, love, and follow Jesus is to know the Bible. Saint Jerome, whose feast we celebrate today, said, Ignorance of the scriptures is ignorance of Christ.